Now, the hopper. Beautiful in both design and nature. Perfectly executed in all regards. Conceived of in the depths of a brilliant mind, she is truly a marvel of modern engineering. Let's see how she performs in her natural habitats. I feel good. I knew that I would not. I feel good. I knew that I would not. So good. So good. I got it here. I feel nice. The sugar is fine. I feel nice. The sugar is fine. So nice. So nice. But all is clearly not right. It seems as though we may have been tricked by a false version of the hopper. As this facade melts away, we are left with the true results. The motor has snapped into and fallen off, and the jump was at most 4 centimeters. One might say that this hopper may never again leave the ground. Fortunately, it shall. Like this, this, this circuit thing, not as, these wires don't, aren't like as elastic as they need to be. These wires aren't as elastic as they need to be. That's what I was at. So what improvements can and must be made to our failing hopper? First of all, the motor is now supported by music wire. A screw will be inserted through the disc to prevent it from falling off the motor shaft during flight. The width of the base will be increased so as to minimize friction on the arms. If all of these alterations are put into effect, then the hopper should have no problem meeting its goal of jumping vertically. In fact, I think it's safe to say that, if for some reason this hopper still fails in its goal, it is likely due to external circumstances, and is no fault of the creator. If all goes well, the final jump will likely look a lot like this. I know you love the hopper. How do I know? Because I love the hopper. I'd like to think everyone loves the hopper. Only with your love will the hopper ever succeed. You do love the hopper, don't you?